So this week we're going to close out this unit on pragmatics and actually close out the entire course by focusing on metaphor. So remember, pragmatics is all about how the way we use words can go beyond what the words literally mean. So we saw that happening with performatives, we saw that happening with implicatures, but of course metaphors are another obvious place where this happens, or at least it looks like it happens. When we use speech metaphorically, it looks like we use sentences that are literally false to communicate something else, and something that can be potentially quite important. So this lecture is going to be different from previous ones. We're not reading a primary text this week, rather we're reading a summary article of various theories of metaphor, the summary article by Reimer and Kemp. So the way things are going to go is that I'm first going to talk a little bit about what metaphors are and some important features of metaphors and why we might think they're interesting, and then focus in on the major kinds of questions that theories of metaphor try to explain. After that, I'm just going to go through the strengths and weaknesses of some important accounts of metaphor that have ar arisen in the, le in the literature. So the first view we'll talk about is the simile view, where metaphors are really just used to express similes. When you say something metaphorically, you're really just literally saying one thing is like another. We'll talk about a Gricean view, where in using metaphors, we're trying to implicate something, in the sense of implicate that we talked about last week. And then we'll talk about non-cognitive views of, of metaphor, where what we're trying to do with metaphor is not make an assertion, but rather do something very different in the first place. And then finally, we'll talk about what are called interactionist views. And these, these are kind of the most difficult views to understand, but the basic idea is, on, on an interactionist view, what we're doing with a metaphor is that we're actually changing the meanings of the words on the fly. And so in a certain sense, the interactionist theories deny that metaphors are literally false in the first place. So that's going to be our plan for today.